Hi guys, my name is Amada, I'm a computer engineering student in UK and today we are going to see how we can sort an array in Java. There are a lot of ways, there are too many ways to do that in Java. In this video we are going to see a bubble sort. So basically, the idea is if we have an array this case called test numbers with five elements 11 23 7 45 33 we have to write a method that will return us a sorted array that means it has to return the elements in an ordered way So let's see how can we do that using the bubble method. So first of all, like as usual, as usual, we have to write the method main, which is going to be the beginning of our code. Remember that when you want to start a coding program in Java, it always has to start from the method main. So we are going to declare an integer of an array of two integers called test numbers. And then we are going to define all the elements of the array. In this case 11, 23, 7, 45, and 33. Then we are going to call our method, our not existing method here, which is going to take as an argument our integer of arrays. And we are going to print it in the console using the loop for. That means for each element of the array. We are going to print it. So we define our full loop loop and then we print it, we print our array through our system method. Through, our system, through the system method. Okay, so now the next step is to create the sort method. Remember that, that we are going to use the bubble sort method. In the future, we can see more ways to sort an array. So in this case, we have int our sort method, which returns, it has, has no return and takes an integer of arrays, an array of integers as argument. First of all, we declare a for loop, which is going to allow us to move through the array. In order to compare each element of the array. So the idea is basically we are going to check if the element of the array is bigger or smaller than the next element. If it's bigger 
we're going to swap the that two elements those two elements in order to create our sorted array so first we check if the element is already swapped <coughs> or not and If it's, if it's not swapped yet we're going to use another for loop to go through the array again in order to check for each element if it's bigger or smaller than the next element the way we can do that is using the if statement We are going to declare a variable of type integer called temp in which we are going to store all indexed element in order to swap it with the next element. So int temp arise e for each iteration we are going to check which of the two elements is bigger and then we are going to store the biggest element in the position of the smallest element and we are going to store the, the smaller element in the position of the bigger element. And then we change the for that for that element the value of the boolean variable is swap finally once we the loop once we are sorted all the numbers we're going to check if is there any element not swapped yet if there is no swap we're going to break the, and finish the code oh sorry let me some syntax errors this usually happens to the coders guys and let's check it oh it looks like is there any problem yeah i have to delete this bracket yeah that's it so let's check the code hopefully it's working yeah that's it as you see we have sorted our integer of arrays oh sorry our array of integers and that's it thank you for watching the video please like comment and subscribe take care